Welcome back to News 3 Today. The writers and actors strikes are in full effect and Savannah has seen a pause in film productions. The Hostess City has been the backdrop though of many movies and TV shows, but this is nothing new. In fact, projects have been filmed here longer than you can imagine. In this week's Historic Happenings, writer, tour guide and Savannah content creator and more, Enika Eatonfield joins us now with more. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. And you learned something new every day and every time I talk to you I learn something new about the city that I grew up in and this you're talking about Greenwich Cemetery well the Greenwich property today yes so if you head out to Bonaventure uh, and don't turn into Bonaventure and continue straight you will end up in Greenwich Cemetery mm -hmm. and a lot of people at home I'm sure are like why are they filming in a cemetery uh, well before it was a cemetery it was a plantation and then later after the Civil War there was this gorgeous Beaux-Arts mansion that was built there and that was owned by the Tory family from Detroit and while they were living in this gorgeous, gorgeous home, uh, a silent film was filmed there mm. that starred a young Rudolph Valentino. Stop it. Uh, and Rudolph Valentino was a major star, but not then. Okay. This was his last project before he was launched into stardom. And this movie was called Stolen Moments, and it was starring an opera singer. And this was supposed to be like her big vehicle. Yeah. Um, but then after Rudolph Valentino became this big star, they re-edited <laughs> the movie to make it more about him. Yeah. Uh, and you can find that, that movie for free on YouTube now. Wow. Uh, but they filmed out there in 1920. They filmed here in Savannah and in St. Augustine. So if you've ever wanted to see what Savannah and St. Augustine looked like in the 1920s, this is your chance. Okay. Uh, and after they filmed the movie, a couple of years after, the mansion, the Greenwich Mansion, caught on fire. Mm -hmm. There was an electrical fire, burned the whole thing down. In fact, one of the Tory kids, a little girl named Eleanor, had to jump out the second floor window. Uh, everyone escaped fine. They were fine. Uh, but they ended up purchasing Osceola Island and moving out there. Uh, Sadly, Rudolph Valentino died three years after that in 1926. And I'm sure a lot of people are like, oh, it's a cursed movie. Yeah. Uh, but it worked out, not for Rudolph Valentino, yeah. unfortunately. But, but for Savannah but and for the movie. For Savannah industry. and the Tory family. Uh, because eventually, the uh, Tory family and the Tory West family were able to get Ospa Island declared a historic preserve. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is the Ospa Island we know today. Now, if we go to the Greenwich property, mm -hmm. the cemetery, we'll be able to see some of the things that were left behind. Yes. behind from that mansion. So after the city purchased that and turned it into a cemetery, they did leave a few things from the property. There's this gorgeous fountain out there that I had video of. Uh, there's also a pond out there that's left over from the property, and there's a red brick building out there that were the horse stables. Wow, okay, so how do you find these things out? This is, this is crazy. I wander places and I see things and I think, hmm, that, that looks older than it should be. Yeah. What's, what's going on here? And then I go down a deep dive. Yeah, well, see, our, our producer who's in the booth right now, Kim Blake, we both said, you know, born and raised in Savannah, we had never heard of Greenwich Cemetery. And when I started looking into it, I, I found that it, it's one of the youngest municipal cemeteries mm -hmm. here in our area, but who knew? Yep. The things you know. Okay, so what can we focus on? What can we expect to hear about the next time you are here? Oh, who knows? Okay. Everything keeps changing. <laughs> okay, so tell folks how they can get in touch with you because you do your own tours. Yes, I have my own tour company, uh, Enica Edenfield Tours. Uh, you can find it at EnicaEdenfieldTours.com. And I'm also on TikTok uh, at TikTok Salt Waves. famous. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, at Salt Waves Spanish Moss. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you back, what, next month in a couple yeah. of weeks? <laughs>